they think it's murder. And it kind of is. I'm just okay with that. Oopsie. Bill Maher just said the open secret out loud. I can respect the, the absolutist position. I really can. I, I, I scold the left on when they say, oh, you know what? They just hate women, people who aren't pro-life, they, uh, pro-choice. They just, they don't hate women. They just made that up. They think it's murder. And it kind of is. I'm just okay with that. I am. I, I mean, there's 8 billion people in the world. I'm sorry, we won't miss you. That's my position on that. What? That's quite if harsh, Bill. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm not Is sure that not your position if you're pro-choice? Isn't that mainly because you don't like children? I mean... Yeah, no, exactly. no. <laughs> I mean, but if you are, you're, you said you're pro-choice. Mm. That's your position, too. Mm. Come on, Bill. You can't just say that out loud. Dude, what, the audience? You can't give an applause for murder? No? Maybe? And look at the cowards. Look at the cowards around him. Look at him. Look at Piers Morgan, awkward laugh. <laughs> That's all he can do when he's told the truth about what they are all supporting. You know, this is what absolutely drives me crazy about the human race. People can't seem to stand by the truth of what they are supporting, by the truth of the ideologies that they support. And I don't get it. So basically, this man, Bill, over here, who obviously doesn't understand the social cues of delusion, just said this, abortion is murder. And he's right, because abortion is to eliminate. Eliminate is to kill. So you are killing something. This is not even an opinion. It's the actual word that is used to describe <laughs> the procedure. What are you killing exactly? You're killing a fetus. A fetus directly translates to offspring. And I kid you not, when you Google offspring, Offspring literally means child. So you are aborting a child. You are killing a child. And this man right here has said just that. He has said what it is. And his guests and the audience cannot applaud because when you're faced with the truth of what you're supporting, that's exactly what that looks like. I will never understand why people always feel the need to cook up words and terminology and, you know, use certain terms to dance around the truth of what they're supporting. If you're going to support something, do it with your full chest. Do it with your absolute full chest like Bill Maher here has done. Why are you making up words? Why are you trying to say it's not this, it's not that? It is literally that. This is something people do a lot. It's like, okay, I'm going to support this thing. I believe this is what I believe. But when it is broken down to its logical conclusion, you cannot stand by it. I would have to conclude that you actually think it is wrong if you cannot stand by the truth of what you're supporting. It's kind of like when those alphabet people panda to religion, to Christianity, to Islam. We are seeing a lot of that on the campuses right now, where they are protesting. You have gay people who Hamas would literally abort their existence. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist the pun. And they're, they're pandering and trying to form some sort of victim solidarity with them. Whereas these people have laid down their rules, they don't accept that in their religion. Christianity doesn't accept that in its religion. Why do you need to pick up the Bible and try and twist the words of the Bible? You don't need to do that. You can stand by your own identity and your own personality. You don't need Christianity or Islam to validate you. It's the same thing as this abortion argument. Fine, you're on opposing sides of the aisle. But you can say what it is. You don't need to lie and twist things so that people feel like you're not a bad person. You are a bad person, so own up to it. Okay, maybe you're not fully a bad person. Maybe you're just a person that is supporting something some people feel is wrong. You have to own up to what it is. Then we can have a proper conversation. This is not even to say that just because Bilma is truthful about it is any better than anybody. No, I'm not saying that he is. I'm just saying at least be truthful. I'm not saying that he's not wrong for taking such a stance. What I am saying though is at least now I can look him in the eyes. He can look me in the eyes and we can have a proper conversation about what he's supporting. Whereas everybody else that is just pretending like it's not that, what is wrong with you? My name is Dio. Thank you for watching.